actually going to a wedding reception in like an hour and a half with my boyfriend. Um, I'm kind of running a little bit low on time, but I figured I would film my look for you guys. I have like 45 minutes until I have to leave, so I think I'll be able to be ready on time. I've just been rushing around the entire day. I went and got my nails done earlier. I went and washed my hair and dried it and it's already almost 3 30 and I have to be at his house but a little bit before 4 30 so it gives me 45 minutes to do my makeup so that should be enough time okay so for my eyes I already primed them with my Anastasia eye primer and just use my color pop lip oil and then I just set my eyes with my Dior powder and now we're going to go into the eyeshadow and today I really want to use my Natasha Denona dream palette or my dream palette. Sorry, I just spit. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go into this guy. And I really want to use some of the deeper tones in here to do this look. I'm probably going to use either... I'm not sure if I'm going to go with like a warmer crease or a little bit of a darker like gray crease. But I really want to use Thrill on the lid today. So we will see where this goes. So I was like a little bit torn as to what I wanted to use. Let me see where I can even put this palette today. Or I'm just going to put it over here. Okay, so I think we're going to start... I kind of want to use Unity. I don't know if I'm really feeling like a very cool tone look today, but I do want to deepen it up and make it a bit smoky and dramatic. So we're going to start with this shade. So I haven't actually used this palette since... Um, I had tested out all the shades in it because I've been using two other newer palettes that I've added to my collection at the end of January, so. But I think we should be doing okay on time. I mean, I might skip a couple of things in this video if uh, I have to, like, do more to get ready because I do want to be out of the house in, like, 45 minutes, so. But we should be okay. Since I'm dressed before we leave, I hope he doesn't ask me, like, what should I wear literally when I get there. But, yeah, so. But I also want to leave a little more, a little bit before 4.15 because there is, like, quite a bit of traffic at that time. But I told him I should be there a little bit before 4.30 or at the latest 4.30, so... But we don't have to like rush getting there because we're gonna be there for the cocktail hour that starts at five and we can basically show up at any time for the cocktail hour but at least before six o'clock so if we get there at like 5 15 it's not like the end of the universe so so yeah we actually got invited to this wedding um kind of like a few days ago because um he the groom told us that he's been our friend for like 10 plus years and this is actually his second time getting married which is kind of crazy because me and my boyfriend still haven't gotten married yet but you know there's a lot of reasons why and that's totally fine I don't need to rush it I need to have a career first um that looks really pretty Okay, and then after that, like I said, I'm going to darken it up with the brown. So I'm going to use Aspiration, and I'm going to make it, like, really deep and smoky. Because that's what I want to do with this look. I think it'll be really pretty. Kind of, like, more like a warm-toned, chocolatey brown eye. So I think it'll be really nice. I'm already getting warm in this dress. So I'm wearing, like, this black and white, like, short sleeve dress. And it's like, it goes down to here. I think it's going to be really pretty. Um, I kind of had to figure out what I was going to wear, like, literally, like, a couple of days ago. But at least I have plenty of dresses that I haven't worn in a while. Because, let's get real, I don't go to special occasions often. But at least I have a few dresses that still fit pretty well. So I thought that this one was the, the one I... Uh, that I thought that was like the dressiest and it's also a pretty easy like dress to wear um so I'm just gonna do this side as well um so the reason why he invited us like kind of pretty last minute is because he said that a bunch of family actually canceled um but he also said that the guest looks 
the guest list, oh my God, was very limited. So I think that's, I mean, I understand, but at the same time, like we haven't really seen them that much lately, but it was really nice of him to invite us. But at the same time, I always thought that we were going to be invited, but it's fine. It's, you know, the fact that he just thought to invite us um, now was really nice. So I'm just glad we're able to go. I honestly really love his new wife now. Honestly, the first girl that he married, nobody really liked her and it didn't last that long. Um, not because of him, but because, um, and I'm not mentioning any names, but, and then I'm just going to go in with the black for the outer corners because I really want it deep and smoky on the outer corners. Um, so his first, uh, fiance, he is in the Indian religion. So he had, uh, his first marriage was an arranged marriage. So they didn't really like know each other before that um and honestly like us like his friends like didn't really know who she was and none of us had ever really like hung out with her before and also like I don't I think I like barely met her at the actual wedding like didn't really like go around and say hello to people and stuff like it was very very cold feeling that we got from her and again they didn't really stay married for long so but this new girl we love her they are an absolute perfect match they actually were like on again off again for a little while but then like they t said that they were engaged I think like early last year and now, like, we honestly could not be happier for him because I absolutely love his new wife. She's such a sweetheart. I actually get along with her the best out of all of the girls in our group because this is, like, my boyfriend's group of friends. Like, he has, like, four really good guy friends and they all, you know, pretty much have girlfriends or wives. Like, one of his other friends is married. Um, but I definitely get along the best with her and she is just such a sweetheart and we are beyond thrilled that they are finally married. I don't think there are anybody as perfect for each other as the two of them besides my sister and her fiance, which I am super excited for my sister's wedding as well. But yeah, we're really excited to go. So now I'm just going to put on some glitter glue real quick. Okay, so then like I said, for the lid shade, I want to use the shade Thrill. I was really torn between Thrill Babies and Serenity, but Thrill's a really beautiful, like, shimmery, goldish pink. And I think it's going to be so pretty with this. Yeah, I love that. Oh, that looks so pretty. It's like... These shadows are so freaking good in here, you guys. Like, they just perform so well. And there's, like, just, again, nothing like a Natasha Denona shimmer. They just glide across the lid so easily. And I just love her shadows so much. And that looks so pretty. I really like how this look is turning out so far. I mean, I knew I was going to love it, but... Ugh, oh, the shade is just so pretty. Oh, I love it. There's, like, so many different, like, different glitters in here. It's not just, like, a typical shimmer shade. There's, like, gold and pink and, like, bronzy kind of shifty glitters in it. And it's just so pretty. And it shifts, like, really, really gorgeous as well. It's, like, a pinky bronze. I love it. Okay, so once we have that down, I'm just going to pop on long type on the brow bone and then we'll finish the, we'll start doing the face. Okay, so I already, I already primed my face with the Do It uh, spray from 4th Ray Beauty and then the e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. So now I'm power grip primer, I mean, <laughs> I always screw up the name. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation and I'm going to use the Lancome Taint Idol 
Ultra Wear Foundation in the shade uh, 090 Ivory. I love this foundation. It's usually my go-to when I need to go out for a special occasion. I hope my mom isn't home already. I didn't really tell her what I was doing tonight yet, but... Do you ever have those parents where they just nag you when they come home? That's my mom. <laughs> but it's okay. Mm, this, like, sponge is a little bit dry today. I wanted to... Crap. Let's just get it all over my lips. I wanted to switch to this sponge just because it is easier to apply my... um my concealer with this foundation with this sponge um but it is a little bit getting it's getting on the old side but it still blended it out pretty good it just feels a bit dry but it should be fine i mean i washed it last night so i just didn't expect it to feel this dry but it should be okay and I love this foundation because it always, like, it gives me such good coverage, but it also looks, like, so good. And it just makes your skin still look, like, naturally beautiful without being, like, too full coverage. And it lasts forever on the skin. So, when they say 24 hour, they really do mean it. <laughs> Even though who's going to be wearing their foundation for 24 hours? I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to do my concealer, and I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sub Sublime Concealer. I forget what the shade is. I'll tell you guys in a minute. This is a good concealer, too. I was going to use my Tarte one, but I don't get to use this concealer as often anymore, and I love this concealer. So this is the shade L1. So I'm just going to apply it out. I don't think anybody walks them this afternoon. I'm not sure if my dad did or not. He probably did when I wasn't here when I got my nails done. I love my nails, by the way. I did a chrome color, and I've never done chrome before, and I think it turned out beautiful. I think I spent more time on my hair today than I am my eyeshadow. <laughs> Because I'm like trying to go faster. I mean, I'm still making okay timing. I just, you know, didn't really want to rush doing my makeup. But what else is new? <laughs> okay, I don't know what that is. So yeah, we're really excited to go to the wedding. We're um... The thing is that with, like, Indian weddings, they're usually, like, an all-day kind of thing. Um, and he did invite us to both, but the reception was, like, at... I mean, the ceremony was, like, at 11 a.m. this morning, and we were just, like, not really sure if we were going to go. Like, if it was a bit later in the day, I would have been, like, yeah, sure. Um, but, like, the ceremony was at, like, 11 a.m. this morning, and then the reception wouldn't be until, like, 5 o'clock tonight. But, like, the ceremony would have ended at 1, but there's, like, a four-hour gap in between on what you would be doing in between. So, we were just, like, we didn't really want to do that. And also, then I would have to get up a lot earlier, and I went to bed late last night. Again, that was my fault um, but I actually am not that tired, but I'm probably going to crash later after I get home because I'm going to be really tired later. <laughs> so, obviously I'm going to be dancing and everything, so. But it's exciting. We couldn't be happier for him. And it's not, like, too far. I'm going to drive to his house first, and then we'll just drive together to the reception hall. That's usually what we do for pretty much everything. <laughs> 
for Becca's wedding, it was different because I was in the bridal party, so I couldn't go with him because I had to be with the bridesmaids all day, but for this, obviously, we'll just go together. That looks really good, actually. Yeah, I'm glad I went with this concealer. And then I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Labs setting powder as per usual. All right, I wouldn't see why we're not done in like 20 minutes or so. I've actually been doing my makeup a lot faster now. Um, it's so windy today, you guys. It literally dropped like 20 degrees from yesterday and tonight it's gonna su it's supposed to be like eight degrees so it's gonna be really cold but I'm probably still gonna wear my down jacket anyway and just check it when we go there I don't have cash on me though but it's fine or I'll just wear like a lighter jacket to the reception and then just bring like a warmer jacket for later. I'm just using my Dior powder to set the rest of my face and I love how it makes it look. And then I'm just gonna set to my face really quick. Okay, oof, feels so hard. All right, so now we're gonna go back into the palette. I think I'm gonna do brown liner. I don't really feel like doing black. I think brown will look better. Um, I think I'm just going to go into that aspiration shade on the lower lash line because I do want kind of a deep brown. And then for the inner corners, we're just going to use Spontaneous, which is usually the shade that I use in this palette for the inner corners because it's a beautiful uh, just gold. And y'all know how much I love gold eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take that shade Spontaneous and apply it to my inner corners. And I just have to figure out what jewelry I'm wearing. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear flats in the car, like, to his house, because I don't know if they're going to, my other shoes are going to fit for the actual reception in my bag. Because <laughs> I'm wearing, like, these suede platform black shoes. They're so comfortable, and they have, like, a height to them. But they're not like a heel. They're like a black suede wedge. And they're like my most comfortable dress shoes that I own. So I'm just going to wear those. And then like I said, I'm just going to take aspiration on the lower lash line. I'm not sure if I should do black because I'm doing brown on the lower lash line. And I usually like that kind of contrast with black and brown. Yeah, maybe I should do black. And I think I'm going to use my Makeup by Mario liner, actually, because that one lasts longer than the LA Girl ones. I've just been using the LA Girl ones, like, so often, but I'm going to use my Makeup by Mario. I should have done that little hint of another shimmer on the inner corners, but that's fine. We don't have to do that. Okay, so let me just grab my Makeup by Mario liner. Yeah, I'm going to do the black. That's right here. I love this Makeup by Mario formula. Just like the best. I'm just going to line my waterline. I don't know why it's skipping a little bit. Jesus, Caitlin, really? Is that what's going to happen today? Oh my god. Why is it so hard for me to see right now?
I mean, it's so hard to see in my room in general, so that's why I always hold the mirror up to my eyes, like, so close. And also, if you don't know, I do wear contacts, so you always got to get all up close and personal with the mirror, or I usually can't see a dang thing. All right, so I'm just going to put some lash primer on, and then we'll do mascara. Okay, so I just went in with my Essence Lash Primer, and now I'm just going to go in with my NARS Climax Mascara. Okay, what is my hair doing? This one's a really good mascara, you guys. Gives me really long lashes. I'm getting tired already. <laughs> Tiredness is real. I've just been rushing around all day getting ready for this. Okay, and then I'm just going to do my bottom lashes okay. real Okay, so I just coated my bottom lashes with my L'Oreal mascara, which I always use. I'm just like a little annoyed about my lashes right now, but that always happens when I have a special occasion to go to. Okay, so for my bronzer, I'm just going to go in with my Dior bronzer in the shade Tan Bronze. And I'm just going to bronze up my skin. I don't know if my mom's home or not yet. I don't think she is. Okay. Sometimes this one takes a little bit more building up. Of course, now she's home. Okay, and then for blush, I'm going to use the shade uh, from Pat McGrath Labs in the shade Nude Venus. I want to use this one today because I use Desert Orchid like all the time. And this one's a really pretty like peachy color. I mean, it's a little bit more orangey. But it's a really pretty color, so the heck is, oh my god, I, thought... I was like, I know I brought these in my room, I was like, I don't know where they went, so I'm just going to take that and apply it pretty lightly, and then just build it up a little bit more, because these are actually really pigmented. I always use my Pat McGrath blushes for special occasions. These are pretty much my most expensive blushes that I own besides like the Dior Backstage one. I mean, I don't always want to spend too much money on blushes. Like these ones I use all the time though, so they were they were 100% worth it. Okay, we just need a little bit more. Okay. I don't know. I want to build it up more. <laughs> Can never have enough blush. Okay, that looks good. I don't think we need any more. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then for Hoyloita, I pulled out two because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. I either wanted to use the Pat McGrath Labs one that I have in the shade Golden Nectar or this Dior um, Nude Luminizer. Because the Pat McGrath can be really dark on the skin if I go overboard, but I really want to use it. I think I'm going to use this one. This one is so pretty. I just, like, need to use, like, the tiniest amount, and, like, literally it's so intense. So I literally just swiped it in the pan, and now I'm just going to go very lightly. Oh, that looks so pretty. It's an intense highlighter, so like literally all I did was like, all right, I need, I do need a little bit more. And that's probably all I'm going to use. 
because again, it's a very, very intense highlighter. And it's a bit dark for me, so. I might layer the um, Dior one on top just because like my highlighter has not been like the greatest lately. I don't know why. I mean, again, I just washed this brush, so it should have applied it a little bit better. It's always when you have something to go to is when your highlighter and like your foundation is like you, <laughs> you know? It's always for a special occasion. Usually this one is like way more intense on the skin, but it still looks really pretty though. Okay, maybe I need a little bit more. It just looks a little dark, but it's still really pretty. I don't know. I think I'm going to put a little bit of the Dior one over top. Hopefully it won't make it too dark or anything. Yeah, that looks pretty. This one, you, I don't think you can get anymore. Um, I don't know why it looks so dark. <sighs> That's annoying me. And it also looks like a little patchy, but whatever. We're just going to do the okay, lips. So I just went ahead and filled in my brows. And now let's just do my lips if I don't knock everything over. I just went with like these floral gray studs from Betsy Johnson. And then I just put on a watch and this really pretty bracelet. I usually wear this to like every wedding. Um... Oh my god, I'm about to flip out like in two seconds. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use Pat McGrath's structure for my lip liner. Oh, I cannot see. Cannot see a thing. Oh my god, I hate my freaking sponge sometimes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just gonna do that off okay camera. and then for my lips I'm gonna go in with this Dior liquid lipstick in the shade 200 I forget what these are called but this is one of their like matte liquid lipsticks they're really pretty like nudish dark color and I really like it and it has a really great formula too I really cannot with my hair sometimes. <laughs> it drives me nuts. My earrings are hurting my ears right now. This is taking me so long to apply. I'm just going to finish it off camera. Okay, you guys. So this is the finished look. Here are the eyes. The cheeks. And the lips. And actually, the highlighter looks way prettier in the bathroom lighting than it did here. So I think it's going to be pretty for later. And plus, there's going to be a bunch of dark lights later anyway. 
and no one is going to be looking at my highlighter like I look at my highlighter, so it's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at cbw819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. I was thinking about wearing a necklace, but I don't know. I feel like it would be too much. I think it looks good with just the earrings. So yeah, I have to go. So I hope you got you. Blah, blah, blah. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.